Brad for Jay Salomon and I'd like to talk a little bit about my philosophy as an artist. I've been painting for about 30 years and these ideas have developed over this period of time. And I feel that painting things that are familiar to me is what's going to create an emotional response in me and therefore in my viewer. I feel that instinct is what drives my work. I'm, I'm more interested in emotion than I am in ideas. I feel like an emotion is stronger than a thought. A painting that's interesting to me creates an emotional response not one that elicits some need for me to interpret it as some idea that's going to edify me. It's not a philosophical approach to work, it's an emotional and instinctive one. I don't come up with ideas per se, I react to things instinctively. I'm interested in an emotional reaction that the viewer will have and their own life experiences and how they might interpret something based on things that have happened to them. I find that if I paint things beautifully as something that's an inspiration to me, I hope that it will be for the viewer and that beauty is often something that's harder to find in life than, than the ugly or the dark that you can find in the news or, or just about anywhere. A more interesting approach to art for me is to react to my own, my own instincts and to my own emotions and look for the better angels of our nature and the beauty in our world. I start the painting by creating what's called a grisaille. It's this very basic shapes that then develop into the image as you see now. I'm really interested in keeping certain edges soft and this is how we actually see. As humans, we see much different than a camera sees. A camera typically will have everything in focus where edges on the far side of the image will be as sharp as something in the middle. So things like the feet on this painting are very soft, not detailed, and they lead the viewer to the other elements in the painting. So I'm interested in shape, edge, and value as a way to lead the viewer to the elements of the painting that I want to be as the focus of the painting. This is a painting of my oldest daughter, Amanda Monet. I've painted my family all my life. They're a continuous inspiration to me. In a painting like this, I'm trying to determine where the focal point is and where I want to lead the viewer. If you have a focal point that's the face, the hair should be a quiet place in a, in a mass of shape that doesn't distract and doesn't get broken down to too many different values or elements and if you do that then you really bring more attention where you want it which is in the face. The hand for instance is done very gesturally and like Robert Henry said paint a suggestion of a hand, don't paint a hand. painting 
Kane's been in several shows, and it's often interpreted in a way that I didn't intend, but there's no wrong interpretation in any of my paintings. He looks at her as a sacred vessel, a sacred vessel of life. And this chair signifies the child that hasn't been born. But um, it's a moment in time, it's, it's a glimpse of our existence that only lasts a second that I wanted to capture. And it was something that I saw in them because they're both friends of mine. And it's something that I wanted to, to paint. And I'm as curious about what's happening here as the viewer and just as unsure about the future.